Huge thank you to today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace.com is the easiest way to start your own website. This is a $35, sometimes $17 open box DVD player, which also plays CDs. This is the Rotel CD11 Mark II, which is $600. It also plays CDs. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, maybe out of your Metallica Yeti cup, and let's talk about whether or not a $35 DVD player can compete with a $600 CD player. I'm going to post one of my most popular videos right here, 10 reasons why you need to be buying CDs right now. And you should be buying CDs because today you can go out and buy a brand new CD for between $10 and $20. And in 1988, a new CD costs between $12 and $20. They're actually cheaper now than in 1988. And in my opinion, having physical media is always better than streaming. Maybe not sonically, but from a non-anxiety producing situation, just in case the internet goes down sometime. Let's hope not, but I still wanna to listen to Led Zeppelin if society is breaking down because of the lack of the World Wide Web. If you are new to CDs, which would kind of blow me away if anybody watching this is actually new to CDs. I guess like maybe the millennials, maybe Gen Z doesn't have CD experience. But if you're a Gen Xer or a boomer, chances are you've owned a few CDs. They've melted in your car and you've probably thrown away a five gallon bucket full of them only to regret it years later. The takeaway is you don't have to spend a lot of money to start playing CDs. You can get one of these very high quality DVD players from Best Buy for $35. They still sell this same model. When I bought it, I got an open box for I think $15. However, if you are buying a high quality item like this Sony DVD player, I would look for something like this. This is a digital output. We shall discuss that later. But with a digital output, you can bypass the internal DAC on this high quality Sony DVD player. But for $35 or for $9 if you're thrifting, you can be up and running with CDs in no time. If you have a business or you're even considering starting a website, you should run on over to squarespace.com slash cheap audio man and reserve your domain today. Are you a vintage lens cap enthusiast? Then go on. Then run on over to squarespace.com and see if lenscapenthusiast.com is available or .net or dot or dot org. Squarespace makes it super easy to start your own website. The only thing you have to do is fill out a little bit of information about yourself or your business and Squarespace is going to conjure up dozens of different templates and then the only thing that you have to do is drag and drop your own pictures, double click on the text box and fill out your information or the information of your business. They have analytics so you know who is clicking on your website from where and at what time. They also have a great support section. So if you don't know how to do something, you just type it in. Maybe you wanna do an email campaign. Well, Squarespace has you covered. They have articles and videos to guide you through the process. So run on over to squarespace.com slash cheap audio man and get 10% off your first order by entering the code cheap audio man and get your website started today. The DAC. If you're not familiar with what a DAC is, it's a digital to analog converter. What it does is takes the ones and zeros from the CD and makes it into a nice analog signal. Well, not always nice, but it makes it into an analog signal. Now, the sound quality coming from different DACs and different components varies widely. You have a DAC already in your TV, your phone, your tablet, your laptop, your computer, but chances are, unless it's a specific computer, it's not a very good DAC. It does the job, but very poorly. So the difference between a higher end CD player and a lower end CD player doesn't just start and end with the DAC, but that's probably the most important thing. 
that we as audiophiles looking for the utmost and high fidelity should worry about. Since this has single-ended RCA outputs, you can plug it right into whatever system you have, as long as you have an analog input open. And it works. I was listening to 72 Seasons by Metallica yesterday. On this very device, going into an RMC1L into the analog input of the RMC1L. So I was using the internal DAC of this very high quality Sony DVD player. And guess what? It was terrible. It wasn't so terrible that I wasn't tapping my foot at points, but when I had it on in the background, it was okay. When I compared it to the Rotel CD11 Mark II, it made the Sony look like kind of a hobo. Like the Sony was trying to transmit the music through a wet towel. The Sony lacked detail. It lacked instrument separation. It lacked clarity. It was overbearing in the mid-range, so the vocals came forward in a harsh way, and the bass was completely muddy, covered up. Not great. <laughs> So the Rotel CD11 Mark II, from my understanding, comes with the same Texas Instruments DAC as the A11 Mark II, which is a fantastic integrated amplifier. When I listened to 72 Seasons by Metallica, it was wonderful. The sound was balanced. It was clean. The space was bigger. It was more organic. There was better instrument separation, better imaging. It was better across the board in every sonic category than this high quality Sony DVD player. Was it 20 times better? Well, if you're an audiophile, yes, it was 20 times better. The CD11 Mark II plays CDs and CDRs and CDRWs, which means, that's right, you can make that mix CD and play it in your new Rotel CD11 Mark II. Reported specifications is 0.009% THD and has a signal to noise ratio of greater than 125 dB, which is pretty outstanding. Now, I think once you get to around 118 dB signal to noise ratio, it's pretty much like a wash. But generally, the higher the signal to noise ratio rating is, the better. Comes in at 13.7 pounds, which is a bit more than this high quality Sony DVD player. This feels like it's filled with helium. You may want to put your heavy monkey statue on top so he's not looking as it flies off into the cosmos. But seriously, I plugged some RCAs into this and it legit wanted to come off. Not very heavy. The CD11 Mark II, however, is not going anywhere. It's a traditional component, and it's got that 80s and 90s street cred because it looks like it was made in the 80s or 90s. On the back, it's pretty straightforward. You just have some RCA outputs. Then right here, you have a coaxial output. Then right here, you have an RS232 port. RS232 ports used to be used for basically updating things and automating things. So this can be automated, I guess, somehow. And over here you have a trigger input so you can turn this thing on when you turn on your amp. And then you have your IEC power connection right here. On the front, you have a depressible power switch, just like the A11 amplifier. Very smooth CD tray here. And then you have your controls right here. If you're 35 or older, this is probably old hat to you. Now, we're not done yet because this video is gonna get very interesting. So make sure you stick till the end to find out why. This Rotel also comes with a very big remote control. Now, it is made out of plastic. It does feel a little bit chintzy, especially when you compare it to something like the Emotiva remote control for its ERC-R. Anyway, this is their CD remote control. Metal, depressible buttons. These are depressible too, but they're spongy. Anyway, they both work. The Emotiva's feels a lot better. The Emotiva ERC4 also comes in at $649, so that's $50 more expensive than the Rotel. However, there is one thing that the Rotel does that the ERC4 does not do, and that's play gapless. So if you're listening to a live album where one track rolls right into the other, then you really want gapless playback. On the Emotiva, there's always a little bit of a gap between each track. And for some people that can be really annoying and take them out of the music. Okay, this has been the part you've been waiting for. What are my final thoughts and when does this comparison get real interesting? When I compared this really high quality Sony 
DVD player to the Rotel CD 11 Mark II with the internal DAX, there was no contest. Not even close. The $35 Sony sounded okay if you were doing dishes or maybe helping your kids with their homework. But if you're sitting down with a cup of coffee wanting to enjoy volume two of the greatest hits by Seven Dust, well then the Sony just isn't gonna cut it. But when you use this little part, this little piggy went to, my, this little connection went to your DAC, when you use the digital output and put it into an external DAC or the DAC in your integrated amplifier, things get a lot better. I was always a little confused what people meant when they said CD transport. And what a CD transport is, is a device that does not have a digital to analog converter in it. You have to use an external DAC or you have to use the DAC that's in your integrated amplifier. And in my brain, I'm thinking, why? Because I grew up in the 80s and 90s where everything was a CD player, or at least everything that I had experience with was a CD player. So I didn't know what a transport was. I'm like, what, they're gonna charge more and give you less features? That is the audiophile way. So I never quite understood what that was. But now that I understand the difference between a CD transport and a CD player, some CD players can be used as CD transports. And when you take the heavy lifting of the digital to analog conversion off of this high quality Sony DVD player, then the Sonics get a lot better. You can also use the Rotel CD11 as a CD transport because it also has a digital output. When I listened to this high quality Sony DVD player as a CD transport, compared it to the CD11 from Rotel Mark II as a CD transport, I was hard pressed to tell much of a difference. If I really leaned in, yes, I could hear differences, spatial cues, but I had to really lean in. And if I'm being honest, if I was blindfolded sitting 10 feet away, I don't think I could pick them out consistently. Now, if you're into CDs or you wanna have a very high quality CD player, then the Rotel all day long. But if you're on a budget, you can still get great fidelity out of something like this high quality Sony DVD player if you have an external DAC or if you have a DAC in your integrated amplifier. And you can do it at 1 20th the price of the CD11 Mark II from Rotel. With all that said, I think the Rotel CD11 Mark II is a fantastic product. It's a product that doesn't have a lot of competition at this point. There is a CD player from Cambridge Audio. There's a CD transport from Audiolab. There's a CD player and transport from Emotiva, all coming in around that same $600 price point. Is one hugely better than the other? Well, I really do like the sound of the CD11 Mark II with that Texas Instruments DAC chip in it. I think it's spectacular. I think that's really what you're paying for. You're also paying for the power supply, which can and will affect the Sonics, especially spatial cues, largeness, largeness, soundstage imaging. I think if you're okay with the aesthetics, then I don't think you can go wrong with the Rotel CD11 Mark II. Sounds amazing. The tray action, very smooth, very nice. And I think it would be a great addition to your system. And I think everybody, should be buying CDs. Most of the time when a new record comes out, you can get the CD for 13 bucks, $10. That's, that blows me away. Because if you consider inflation, 13 bucks and 88 was like $35 today. Anyway, it's a great product from a great company. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio man every Sunday night. We have Patreon only Zooms, Patreon only Discord, Patreon only Facebook group. You can also use the links in the description. Most of those are affiliate links, which means if you click and you buy, you get a commission, but it doesn't cost you any more. So it's a great way to support the channel. You can also buy me a cup of coffee down at the bottom of the video. There's a thanks button. Put a little money in the tip jar, but don't feel compelled to buy me anything. You can also sign up for Amazon Title or Rune. Links in the description. Click sign up. You get a free trial. I get a couple of bucks even if you quit. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Get yourself a Rotel CD11 Mark II. Listen to some CDs and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.